Oh, okay. Quick announcements. In a different place because with my new work schedule, it requires me to film in the morning or daytime and the lighting in my room is weird during the daytime. So this is the best we can do. And I mean, it's really pretty natural lighting. So I'm not really that mad at it. Second thing, I look like a drowned rat right now because for my foundation reviews, I just like to do them a little bit more chill, relaxed, vloggy style kind of thing. So I promise you I'll be a little bit more attractive than this in about 45 minutes to an hour. So anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Tarte Babasu Found Sealer skincare foundation. So Sephora actually did have a deal where if you spent $25, you could get a sample of this. So I just opted for the sample because I've been buying way too much makeup lately and I just, I didn't need to add a whole full size foundation to my collection. So hopefully it doesn't bother you that I only have a little uh, sample size. Um, I got mine in the shade light beige. It actually comes in 30 different shades. So this I was much more interested in than what the the face shape, tape, shape, face thing, that thingy, because first of all, I hate the concealer version of it. Second of all, I just wasn't interested in it, but this sounded very interesting to me. It sounded as if it was going to be radiant finish, glowy, just everything that I want in a foundation, and it just sounded up my alley, so I don't know why they released two foundations so close to each other, but whatever, this one actually sounds like something I'm interested in. So, major facts about this guy, like I said, 30 different shades. It is a vegan makeup and skincare hybrid that's an everyday foundation for achieving an ultra comfortable natural radiant finish and custom coverage. So the coverage set claims to be medium um, and it's for normal dry combination and oily skin and also it does have SPF 20. So this just sounded like something I was interested in though I will say for something called found sealer I feel like it should be like a high coverage foundation something that you don't need to use concealer with But I mean whatever let's just get into trying this guy So like I said, I got mine in light beige which is for light skin with pink undertones This foundation will also come full size in one fluid ounce and it will be $39 which isn't too bad I'm so into luxury foundations that this doesn't sound too bad of a price. I think if I had the option I would have gotten light neutral because I do have more of a neutral undertone and just so you know I do have a normal to dry skin type. Let's put this baby on. Start off by applying as I normally apply my foundations. I always use a beauty blender, I'm sorry, but I really haven't found a foundation that I prefer to apply with a brush ever. The sponge just gives the best finish and this is really not a bad color on me. So I just moved you guys in closer so you could really see like what it's looking like on my skin. So with a really light layer, it definitely didn't cover too much. So we are going to see what another layer does. So I would say that first application was just a super light layer. So this one is more of just a regular light layer. And I have to say, I really like how this is looking on my skin. It looks completely natural. I am seeing no dry spots, definitely light to more medium coverage. I don't see this really being a full coverage foundation, but I'm really liking how light and natural that looks. There is a slight radiance to my skin. Again, just extremely, extremely natural. I am going to apply one more pump of this and I'm just gonna apply that to kind of my red areas or areas that I feel could use extra coverage. So for me, I do like the most coverage on my cheeks because that's where I have acne scars and where I just get a little red. So we're gonna zoom you in. This is what, don't look at my lips, <laughs> this is what my skin is looking like. As you can see, you can still clearly see my blemishes, but it just it neutralized them. So this is really looking like skin. So far, so good. But I just have to say, Found Sealer is the worst name for this ever. <laughs> what? So what I'm going to do now is I am going to show you some swatches comparing this particular shade to the other shades in my collection. But I will say this is a really, really good color match for me. I'm actually like surprised. So I've given each of the foundations um, a couple minutes to sit. This first one is the Tarte Found Sealer in Light Beige, the foundation I'm reviewing today. The second one is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Light Beige. The third one is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in R330. 
This one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in Nude Beige. And then this one is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in F7. So as you can see, the Tarte one is the lightest one. So hopefully these swatch comparisons help you. So now, so I don't look so crazy, I'm going to go off camera and finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so I went very natural today just because I'm gonna be out and about and I'll be outside coaching for a few hours this evening. So I don't know, I just didn't wanna go with a full face of makeup. So this is how we're looking though. I'm loving it, my skin is looking super glowy. Of course, with the help of a highlighter, but <laughs> You guys, I'm really liking this foundation. It actually does dry down a little bit. It doesn't go completely to powder, but it's not super tacky on this skin. So I didn't set it with too much powder. Of course, I use powder, bronzer, blush, and highlight. So, and a little bit of translucent powder under my eyes. But other than that, the rest is pretty unpowdered. I think this foundation provides enough coverage to where you can't see everything. It is sheer enough to that it looks very natural on the skin. So, so far, I'm really, really enjoying it. It's covering just enough. It looks super good. So I I really really um, have my fingers crossed that this wears really well because I don't even feel this on my skin this is like a great everyday foundation if everything works out I am loving it so it is about noon right now so it's 11 48 so I will check in in a couple hours to let you know how we're doing So hello, the time is approximately 1.59, so it is 2 o'clock. I am here to check in for my two hours. I find that my foundation tends to look the best at the two hour mark just because my oils have had a little bit of time to cause the foundation to blend in a little bit. Now this isn't a super radiant foundation by any means. It is very naturally radiant. I do see a little bit of light reflecting off my face but in such a really natural and pretty way, so this isn't in any way unnaturally <laughs> reflective or anything. Again, it feels just as light. I don't notice any seeping into my dry patches or even like my smile lines. So, I mean, it is only the two hour checkpoint, but my blush, bronzer, and highlight are all still intact. So let me zoom you in. So this is how we are looking. I'll let you look at the forehead. The forehead looks really good too. So, I mean, it looks just as fresh as when applied, as you can see with the coverage. You can see some acne scars and stuff like that, but I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Overall, I look really, really good. As expected, my two-hour check-in is great as usual. Um, I will catch you guys in the next few hours. I'm just chilling at home right now, but... In a couple hours, I actually have stuff to do. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey guys, so it is about 4.30 right now. So I've been wearing the foundation for four and a half hours. Looking at myself, I'm definitely a lot more glowy now. Just because my oils have kind of come through. But, like, it still looks really good, not greasy. So I'm really liking the glowiness that I have. I will say I do notice a little bit of breaking up of the foundation over here. But it's nothing bad at all. It's just me being very hypercritical and getting super close to the mirror and looking. But, like, literally, face-to-face. -face, a person isn't going to be able to tell so I am only four and a half hours in so I am a little concerned about how this wear time is going to go because it is starting to wear a little bit but not in a bad way like it still looks beautiful and I'm hoping this holds up because I am still loving it so I will catch you guys in the next check-in So it is now officially 8.20 p.m. So I've been wearing this foundation for almost eight and a half hours and I'm here to give you the final check-in. So I got home about an hour ago from lacrosse practice and ate dinner and here I am now. So immediately what I can tell you right away is that this foundation is not long wearing. If you're looking for a really long wearing foundation, this isn't it. If you're looking for full coverage, this isn't it. So I do want to take you in close. So if you can see, a lot of it is wiped off my nose. There's almost no product on my nose. There's just enough so that the redness is a bit corrected. But still, I can see something must have hit my nose. And I can see the swipe marks. Around my mouth, it is starting to look a little cakey. So despite it not looking great, it's, I mean, it's really not bad. Since the foundation is pretty light coverage, the powderiness and where it's breaking up, it really doesn't look bad. From a little bit of space, I really look okay. But I mean, I've definitely been wearing this foundation for eight hours and it looks like it, which is okay. It's not that big of a deal. Eight hours is a long time to be wearing foundation. 
So overall, my thoughts on the Tarte Foundsealer is I love this foundation. I actually think I might pick up the full version of it. Of course, it's not very long wearing, but it is such a good lightweight everyday foundation. It makes your skin look very pretty and up until I want to say like the six hour mark, it looks fantastic and glowy and beautiful. If you're going to be out all day for like 12 hours, please do not use this foundation. But for a quick everyday foundation to go to work or to go to the store or to run errands, I mean, this foundation is really good. Um, it held up the product well. My blush, bronzer, and highlight are still quite visible on my face. And like I said, even though things have kind of broken down and disintegrated on my face, I don't look bad. I don't look excessively oily. I just look like it's the end of the day. <laughs> So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and wear test. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you will be picking up the found sealer or if you took advantage of this deal. I think this little guy was awesome. I can get a few wears out of this before I actually purchase the big one. And you can actually reuse this bottle if you want to put your favorite foundation in to travel with. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope to see you in my next video. So that means you're going to have to subscribe. <laughs> anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.